Thanks, David. Hello, everyone. I founded Gather because people aren't products. And before I tell you what that means to me, I want to tell you why I was called to found Gather after selling Shape two years ago. We started Shape Security in 2012 to protect users and their data. And by the time I and 450 other shapers had been on that journey for five or 10 years, we were protecting 500 million people all over the internet. We became one of the leading companies in protecting users and their data. So Shape was a great company for consumers, a great company for enterprises, and a great company for shapers. Many, many shapers had life-changing outcomes, not just financially, but also in their professional careers in terms of advancement. And above all, they got to work on something that they were really, really passionate about for a great many years. So I'll tell you something that I told them. No founder can guarantee a successful outcome, but I always promised them that we would work on something together that had a chance to swing for the fences and change the world in a huge way. And a new company gather that I founded builds on that idea to an even bigger level. I had a revelation after I sold Shape, which is kind of weird because after you sell a company, you think that's the end of a journey. But really, I reached this point where I was at the beginning of a new journey of understanding that safeguarding users from criminals and hackers online wasn't nearly enough, even if a security company could be perfect. The reality is that people are being abused in many ways, is how I've come to view it, by legitimate companies. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. I was so excited about this revelation that I started Gather the day I wrapped up my two years at my acquirer. Literally the day after, I spent three months building the team. I went out to fundraise in May, raised money in two weeks, and here I am today. Our mission is to make users the most powerful on the internet by giving them control of the most valuable resource on the internet. What is the most valuable resource on the internet? Anybody know? Data. 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 It's the thing that lets Dali make images of astronauts playing basketball with space kitties. Data is the most valuable thing on the internet. And for so long, people have lost sight of the fact that they're the creators and owners of data. So our mission is to give users the rightful control of data that they deserve. Our product is conceptually simple. It's ETL, all the world's siloed user data. It's amazing to me that I can find out a fact about something that happened in near real time on the other side of the world, but I can't figure out where I went on vacation last year because that data is locked up. It's bizarre. Our software will log in to all of the services that you use on your behalf and bring down to your computer and nowhere else, or your phone or your watch for that matter, all the data that you generate in your digital life. It will organize that publish the schema that, to that data, and then allow you to selectively share access to that data, valuable bits and pieces of that data with businesses that want to give you value, with developers that want to create new products and services that have never existed before. Now, you might be wondering, is this does it exist right now? This is a screenshot of the Amazon data download page. You can go to it on your phone, amazon.com slash b2b slash reports. And I can download, just like I did, every single purchase I've ever made on Amazon since 2006. This is one tiny sliver of the data that is available in plain sight for every single one of you to download from the services that you use. It's non-controversial to point out that the most valuable assets that most enterprises have is data. So I would submit for your consideration that everything that we've done in the last 15 years to unlock the value of data for enterprise can bring to bear for consumers because consumers have as complex a data life today as enterprises did 10 years ago. There are so many things that happen when you bring together all of a consumer's data on their device. Too many to go into right now, but I hope we can talk about that after. But some of the categories that those new apps, services, and capabilities fall into are things like never being locked in to a service. You can move easily from one moment to the next, of being able to integrate data from any one service into another and create cross-platform integrations. There are so many more that I hope we can talk about later. We're 12 weeks old. There are seven gatherers, and we're hunting for six amazing engineers to join our founding engineering team in our little tiny barn and call our office the barn. We've got great investors like every single startup here, but I want to draw your attention to one thing. Every one of our investors is the head or founder of the firm, Gar of the founder of Wing, Ajay, the head of all of Bain Capital, Mike Maples, the founder of Floodgate, and Brad Burnham, the founder of USV. That's how excited our investors are about this deal. So we're very, very early. We're super excited to meet all of you. I'm certainly super excited to meet you. Please come chat with me after. Thank you.